Good morning. How are we doing? That was all right, wasn't it? That was pretty. Um, Tuesday morning sometime in January. I thought I'd let you see what the sunrise looks like in Tenerife at the moment. For those of you that in the UK that are missing it a little bit, sorry about that. I know it's a bit difficult for people to come out uh, at the moment. Um, remember that sea walk that I promised you? Well, I think we're going to do that today. I'm going to take Rolo down to the sea walk and the nature reserve and take him down there and see what it's like. It's a bit nippy this morning though, but I think he's raring to go and ready for it. A uh, couple of things, if you want any comments, any any information about Tenerife, just leave it in the comments below, just put it in there, no problem at all. Uh, also for me, if you please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe the video, just uh, click on that notification button and the bell button there, that'll show any upcoming videos that are coming um, that I'll be doing in the future. Going to try and do a lot more Tenerife, just trying a lot more show you of um, more in-depth of Tenerife, rather than just looking across the surface of stuff that we know, just actually places maybe that you've not seen before as well. So once again, thank you very much for supporting the channel. I look forward to uh, do a few more for you guys and uh, I hope you enjoy this one, okay? I'm going to finish my coffee, get him loaded up in the Ferrari and then we're away, alright? Come on then! The excitement's already begun. Um, as I was leaving the complex, we saw the Spanish, uh, one of the Spanish gardeners, Ivan. Rolo loves Ivan. The dog is, Rolo's normally um, harnessed in with one of those seatbelt harnesses to stop him from moving. Uh, he broke that. <laughs> the energy of him, he broke that. We're at the start of the nature reserve. We're at the start of the walk. I think Rolo's ready for it. Hopefully we won't come across any horses today. Hopefully it'll just be, uh, just be me and him uh, for a nice quiet wander. So uh, enjoy the view, enjoy the scenery and uh, see what you think of this one. Come on then, let's go. That hill over there, that you can see, not too far distant, that's the, uh, the quarry that me and Ken did. When we took uh, went up the hill with that 50, uh, 50 foot quarry up there nice walk definitely recommend that one come on then What I like about this walkway between Amadea and Silencio is that if you wanted to take the main walkway, you can do. And you see the path looks not too bad really, so it's a straightforward path. And it's quite an easy walk, quite a nice stroll, quite nice to do. But the best thing about this reserve that I really enjoy is that when you get off the path and they've got these little paths leading you off elsewhere to places that you've got no idea where it's going to take you. And that's... Uh, that's really pretty and that's what amazes me about the, the adventure that you know the, the childness in you when you want to go and explore and you've got a dog so you've got a reason you can do it <laughs> come on then onwards
So the first time I got to this bit, I was like, where on earth do you go? It's just like a dead end, it's like a cul-de-sac. And then all of a sudden, just there, around the area, there's a little pathway going off. And that's the start, even though it's away from the sea, that's the start of the walk. So uh, come on then, let's go and have a look. of the walk Rollo getting very excited when he sees somebody in front of him and I didn't keep my eyes open for him because it's such a narrow footway around the corner you never see what you're gonna see you don't know what you're gonna get so but as I mentioned I feel like one of those <laughs> he's got a leaf I feel like one of those uh, characters from the famous five with the dog and that and he's out on his adventures this is just you come into like places where I was gonna say you're going to place where nobody are nobody is however I've just bumped into somebody there in a converse shirt so there we go, but uh, this is the sort of pathway that we're now leading down. Not for the faint-hearted. So uh, I'm in the second cove now. That's the view of the second cove. There's the view of the second cove that you see now on the Amaria Trail on our way over to Silencio. Nice, isn't it? I think so. Bit of an idea how far we've come if you look in the distance there just around this sort of area here you should be able to see some greenhouses that's where i parked the car that's where we did the greenhouse walk before the dogs carried on for going further but this is the route that we're taking this is the route that we've already done it's absolutely stunning the dog's waiting for me to carry on so uh let's keep moving shall we joined by some divers as you can see we can carry on going round but I don't know how dangerous it's going to be for Rolo so I think we're going to call this one a day for today I hope you enjoyed it as I said before it's the walk from Amaria over to Silencio um, it's a beautiful walk um, it's not wheelchair friendly uh, that's for sure but it's really oh, he's, he's loving the sea um, but it's really really uh, a fun walk to do it took me about an hour with a bit of filming on the way so you should be able to do it in about 45 minutes um, once again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. And uh, from me and from Rolo, he's there somewhere looking at those divers. Adios. <laughs>